Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to if you're new. I hope you guys are excited for today's video as I am. Today we have two beautiful um, DIY projects. We have um, one wall hang and one wreath for uh, Easter coming up. So I really hope that you guys enjoy it. These are very inexpensive and super cute to create. Um, if you love these type of videos, don't forget to show me some love by giving me that thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you guys would hit that subscribe button and join the fam. All right, you guys, so for this very first project, Project. I got this a big carrot from Dollar Tree and they were all a little curved. I'm sure this happened in shipping, but I went ahead and pulled off the 3D uh, little section on the top. I'm going to do something a little bit cool, or at least I think it is anyway. Um, so it wasn't very easy to pull off and I didn't want to break it, but it ended up breaking. Um, so not a big deal, but if you want to keep that part, I probably wouldn't recommend trying to take it off because um, they have it glued on pretty good. Um, but we're going to go ahead and take this off and then we're going to get to painting and you guys will see how absolutely fantastic, easy and beautiful this turns out. All right, you guys, so for this step, I'm gonna go ahead and take some orange burlap from Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna go ahead and give our carrot some dimension, some character. Um, you know, I love, love, love the way that this is gonna turn out, you guys. Now, I am going to be doing two layers of this, just as an FYI, and I just absolutely love the way that this turns out.
So these are a part of an actual little garland, as you can see here. I always save pieces of all of my projects so that I can use them. And I just think this is so cute. So it is kind of 3D, but obviously it's different than what it came with. And yes, it's very different. It doesn't look the same, but that's kind of the, the point, you guys. And I'm trying to just play here and kind of adjust it to where I like it because I did want the dark green at the bottom to still show and I have to tell you guys that this little 3d piece that I did just looks so great and this was one little garland and it was still from Dollar Tree so again something I would highly recommend that you guys think about it's always important to think outside of the box to make things completely your own just because you buy it one way doesn't mean you have to keep it that way and now we're just going to add some final touches and then we're going to put our wreath together and i really hope that you guys love it i want to know what you guys think and i want to know what you would have done different just keep me posted let me know
All right, you guys, so for this second project, I saw this bunny butt at Dollar Tree and I thought, oh my goodness, this is too cute. I have to create something with it. Um, so I took this country tan apple barrel color and I absolutely love the way that this turned out. Um, so basically I'm gonna go in and put in the base color and then you guys are gonna see me go in with a darker color and you guys will see me play around with the different uh, shading by giving it dimension and texture uh, once again um, I'm gonna go in and paint the little feet you guys will see everything that I do but you guys instead of having just a flat color on you know the bunny it's it was important for me to give it dimension. So that is what I go in and do. I truly find this so therapeutic. I have so much fun um, bringing it to life, if you will. And I think that this door hang is absolutely darling. <clears throat> and I am so happy with it and I am looking forward to putting it up in my home and displaying it and I take so much pride in it so I hope you guys love 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 this one as much as I do um, so again just like on the first one please let me know what you guys think
I really hope that you guys are loving the cotton on the tail. I thought that would be so, so cute. It gives it, again, so much character, so much dimension. I think it is so, so stinking cute. I think that, you know, if you guys just think outside of the box and just add a little something something, it adds so much character, you guys. So I added as much cotton as I thought would really make it stand out. And now I'm gonna take these letters. These are not from Dollar Tree. These were ones from my local grocery store that I found, um, and they were on sale for 99 cents. I ended up picking up two and I ended up using or opening up both packs because they only have one of each letter. And so I ended up needing another E for the welcome. Um, but I go ahead and glue those down and then I'm gonna go ahead and paint it black. You guys will see, and it's kind of cool because it gives it a 3D effect with the white kind of lining um, in the middle and the surrounding part and then black on top. And then I also add some greenery, some little eggs, a little flower. You guys will see, it kind of looks like the bunny has hopped into this little bush um so it's super super cute and that pretty much is it with this um door hang you guys i love it so much and like i said please let me know what you guys think because i'm obsessed with both of these today i would love to hear which one of today's um diy projects is your favorite Well guys, that concludes today's video. I really truly hope you guys have enjoyed it. 
I am so happy with both of my DIY projects today and I really, really hope you guys love them. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today for spending time with me. It means the absolute world. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and as always, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.